Hi everyone. Hi you. <laughs> hey. Find the hunk, Dave. Absolutely, find the hunk is what we're after today. It's a mental strategy for division. I am the hunk. <laughs> you don't need to look. <laughs> oh, I see. Are you the hunk? On my planet, I am. I've got pineapple glasses. Oh, and no wig. <laughs> Pine gla pineapple glasses and no wig. And no legs. And <laughs> no legs either. No. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to do some division. I like division. Well, I like division as well. And I've got a really good strategy that I call find the hunk. Find the hunk. <laughs> yeah. It's like a mental chunking strategy. All right then, Dave. What are we going to do today then? Well, I've got your rhyme ready. Okay, let's go for division like this. What's the story? What does it look like? What do I need to know? What can we reason? What's the challenge? Oi, I'm the unk. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> I am the hunk. Yeah, doesn't rhyme. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't say I am the hunk. It says wait before you go. Because right at the end, Dave, you've got another bit, haven't you? Yeah, right at the end of the show, there's like a, a little bit of an extra bit where I'll just show you, show you the solutions to the challenges I'm going to give you. Right, let's get on with it then, Dave. Okay, let's get on with it. Part one. What's the story? What's the story, Dave? Well, the story is I need a story about 64 divided by 4. I've got one. <laughs> Go, on, then. <laughs> Go on then. Tell us about tell us your story. It's about my dad, Dave. Oh, your dad. Bob. Bob. Your dad, Bob. What happened to him? Well, on our planet, Dave, we have something called bib bobs. Bid bobs. What are they? They're like a cross between a cow and a chicken. <laughs> they're big, but they lay eggs. Oh, I say. Okay. So you got. Uh, what's the story then? My dad had 64 bib bobs, but they were rubbish. <laughs> were they? they didn't lay any eggs and they caused chaos. So what did he decide to do? Well, he decided to sell them on eBay. On eBay? Yeah, the alien version of eBay. <laughs> okay. So he sold them on eBay. And how did he do that? Well, he split them into four equal groups and then sold them one by one. Oh, I see. So he split 64 into four equal groups and then he sold the groups on, e on eBay. Yeah, he did. How many were in each group? Don't know. It's not in the times table. What? Oh, I see. Oh, 64 divided by 4. Bit of a problem because it's, it's a bit beyond what we learn in our times tables. Yeah. But you could still learn that one, though, if you wanted to. It's a bit tough. It's a bit tough. So I've got a strategy later. Actually, I'll find the hunk will help us work out what the quotient is. Another story, Dave. Oh, we've got another story. Yeah. Go on, what's your other story? If you saw... 64 alien fingers, how many alien hands would you see? Oh, I don't know. Well, look. Oh, oh look. Ailey's, Ailey's got four fingers on each hand. So you're basically saying, how many hands if you saw 64 fingers? Ah, so you're saying, how many fours are there in 64? Yeah, I like that, Dave. <laughs> That's a really good. It's about your fingers, Ailey. And that links to yesterday's song. This one about the Gaga dance, where we had 27 children. We thought, how many groups of four are there in 27? Yeah. Listen up, everyone. Time to tell me what you've done. How many people? 27 people. What was the divisor? What was the divisor? How many whole groups? Six whole groups. What was the remainder? That's right, Dave. So you, how many fours are there in 27? Is a bit, yeah, that's a bit like how many four fingers are there in 64. That's right, Dave. Same thing. Well, that's right. We call it division by grouping. So the thing is, if we've got 64 divided by four, what does it look like? So... Part two. What does it look like? So what I'm going to do, Ailey, I'm going to show you 64 uh, chunks of chocolate. Oh, I like chocolate, Dave. Yeah, they do. They were in this packet before I um, used them. And then at them, <laughs> I'm afraid I did eat quite a bit of chocolate. Have a look at this, see if you can understand what I'm doing here. I'm going to partition 64 divided by 4 into two chunks. I want to show you this strategy. So 64 divided by 4, I'm going to partition 64 into 10 times my divisor. So that's 40 plus the rest. So there's 10 times my divisor plus the rest. I'm doing that because I think now I can work out the solution. Um, I want to know what the quotient is. So 64 divided by 4, I think, is 40 divided by 4, which is 10. Add 24 divided by 4, which is 6. 
And I can do both those because I know my times table facts. So 10 adds 6 equals 16. So my quotient is 16 because I partition 64 into 10 times my divisor, which is 40, and the other chunk and divided both of those by 4. That's really clever, Dave. <laughs> all I did was partition. You can see in the top corner there. All I did was partition 64 into 10 times my divisor. 4. What, well, four is the divisor, so what's 10 times the divisor? 40. That's right. So that's why I chose 40, because it was 10 times 4. The other bit was 24. That's right. So 64 is 40 add 24. So just partition into 10 times the divisor and the rest, then divided both of those chunks by 4. And I got 10 add 6, and 10 add 6 is 16. That's the quotient. That's really clever, Dave. So here's the next bit of the show. Part 3. What do I need to know? You need to know the vocabulary, Dave. <laughs> Absolutely. This is really important. So we've got the dividend divided by the divisor equals the quotient. So 8 is the dividend. It's the number we're dividing. The divisor is, is what you divide the dividend with. And the quotient is the answer. I'm loving it, Dave. OK. And the other thing that you need to know is um, how to do the strategy. Oh, I can help you. You can help me. How are you going to help me? By holding the board. <laughs> OK, go on then. So, I've got it, Dave. Right, so have a look. So this is what we're going to do. This is the strategy. I've got 84 divided by 7. I'm going to partition 84 into 10 times my divisor. Well, my divisor is 7, so 10 times 7 is 70. And the other chunk would be 14. And then I'm going to divide both chunks by 7. 70 divided by 7, well, that would be 10, because I've defined it like that. I've already said that's going to be 10 times my divisor. 14 divided by 7 is 2. So my quotient is 12. Now, interestingly, that one is actually in your times tables, isn't it? Because 7 times 12 is 84. So we shouldn't need that strategy if we know our tables, but we can always use it. Another one, Dave. Right, let's try one more. I got it, Dave. I got it. I got it. <laughs> okay. Now this one definitely isn't in your times tables. Ninety-four divided by six. So I'm thinking the chunk over here. In fact, this is what we call find the hunk. So this bit, when we're saying find the hunk, the hunk is the bit that's ten times your divisor. I got the hunk, Dave. <laughs> What's the hunk then? Sixty. Sixty. You're right, because the hunk is ten times the divisor. So that's sixty. And the chunk is what's left. 34. 34. OK. So all I've done so far is just partition the number. Then I'm going to divide both chunks by my divisor, which is 6. 60 divided by 6 is 10. 10. Well, that's right, because that's how we've defined it. 34 divided by 6. Well, now I need my times table knowledge over here as well. I know that 5 times 6 is 30, but there isn't 6 times 6 is 36. So it's definitely 5. I reckon remainder 4. So I've got this chunk has given me 10. That chunk's given me 5 remainder 4. So I reckon the, total, the quotient is 15. Remainder 4, go in my mouth, Dave. I know it's in your mouth. So that's the strategy. So find the hunk. The hunk is 10 times the divisor. And this is the chunk. And that how, how, that's how it works out. I love it, Dave. <laughs> Drop the board. So the good news is, Ailey, to help everyone remember and understand this, I've got a song. Can we hear it? <laughs> yeah, it is. Is that you? No, that's the hunk. If you've ever tried dividing and you felt your brain go plunk, well, I can take away your blues because you just need to chunk. Let's 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 chunk. Step one, find the hunk. He's the biggest chunk. Step two, chunk and chunk. Till you can chunk no more. Step three, then divide the chunks by your divisor. Step four, add up what you got, and then you've got your answer. Let's chunk. Let's chunk. Let's chunk. Very dancey, don't you? Let's chunk. If you were given 65 and 5 was your divisor, this is how you chunk. 50 is the hunk. He's 
is the biggest chunk. Fifteen is a chunk. You can chunk no more. Dividing gives you ten or three. With your divisor, adding up that ten or three gives thirteen as the answer. Let's chunk. Let's chunk. Let's chunk. Let's chunk. Given 72 and 3 was your divisor, this is how you chunk. 60 is the hunk, he's the biggest chunk. 12 is a chunk, you can chunk no more. Dividing gives you 20 and 4. With your divisor, adding up that 20 and 4 gives 24 as the answer. Let's chunk. Let's chunk. Let's chunk, let's chunk If you were given 57 and 4 was your divisor This is how you chunk 40 is the hunk, he's the biggest chunk 16 is a chunk, and that just leaves one over Dividing gives you 10 and 4 with your divisor Adding up gives 14 with one as your remainder. Let's chunk. 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 I'm loving it, Dave. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> You got some of my chocolate. I really like it. <laughs> not a surprise you like it. Hold on, hold on. It's not time for this four. bit. What can we reason? Oh, drop me chocolate, Dave. So what can we reason? Here we are. Here's, here's our little bit of a reasoning challenge. I've got three division calculations, all divided by eight. Eight is the divisor. Yep. On all of those three. And I'm wondering how we're going to solve them. Hmm. What do you think? Top one, Dave. I don't need to find the hunk. Ah, remember the hunk is 10 times the divisor. 10 times 8 is 80. Oh yeah, and that's more than the uh, dividend. That's just table facts, Dave. Oh, absolutely. So the top one is just table facts. 72 divided by 8 means how many 8s is 72? 9. <laughs> so 9. We know that one from our table facts. Second one, 134 divided by 8. Uh, find the hunk, Dave. Okay, let's have a go at finding the hunk. So this is what I would do on this one. I wonder what you would do. What's the hunk? The hunk is defined as 10 times the divisor. 80. 80. Okay. And the other partition would be 54. So let's divide both chunks by 8. 80 divided by 8 is 10. 10. 54 divided by 8 would be, well, 6 times 8 is 48. So I think it's 6, a remainder 6. 6 times 8 is 48. 6 more. Therefore, I'm thinking that's going to be 16 remainder 6. 16 remainder 6. Oh, not 2. Oh, you're getting it wrong, Dave. 16 remainder 6. I reckon that is... That's an example when I'm going to find the hunk. Right, one more. Right, one more. Hold on. This one here. Oh, yeah. 214 divided by 8. Okay, so what's the hunk? 80. Why? 10 times with divisor. Well, hold on. 80 is definitely a hunk, is the hunk. But look, I can fit 160 in there as well. That'd be another 80. That's two 80s. Another 80 would be 240. I can definitely fit 160 in there, though. So this is where we need something else. What's it called, Dave? It's called the mega hunk. A mega hunk is a multiple of 10 times a divisor. So if 8 is the hunk, a mega hunk would be 160. Oh, it's, it's two 80s. That's right, two 80s. The partition would be, what that would be, 54. So, 160 divided by 8, 20. 20, absolutely, because this, that's right. It's because 2 times 8 is 16, so 2 times, 2 tens times 8, 116, 16 tens, 160. 54 divide, divided by 8, what would that be? Just add that, Dave. Oh, that's right, that's 6 remainder 6. That's just what we just had. So I reckon this one is 26 remainder 6. All oh, open mouth. Oh, that's it. So in this case, I need a multiple hunk here. We call it the mega hunk. All right? So that in this case, I've got two hunks. I love that reasoning, Dave. Right, I'll drop the board. Right, you drop the board. Yeah, here's some chocolate. Mm, yummy. <laughs> okay. So 
Now that we've had a go at a, a, a go at that lot, it's time for this. Part five. What's the challenge? Okay. Oh, yummy chocolate, Dave. <laughs> okay. Here's the challenge. I'm going to give you guys this board here. Oh, it's a picture, Dave. Absolutely. I've, I used the chocolate we had before to make another picture. So the challenge is at the top, that's what you're starting with. And then I've partitioned it in the bottom one. So what is the calculation behind those pictures? Question mark divided by question mark equals question mark. That's right. I want to know what's the story. What's the chocolate chunk story? Absolutely. Then on the right hand side, I've got three calculations. And the reasoning challenge for everybody else is to work out the solution. And how would you do it? Would you use a table facts, a find the hunk, or maybe even a mega hunk? I don't know how you do it. So let's just do I dodge over here. This is the number fun portal. If you're thinking, want a bit more understanding on some of these things, that theme introduction video for parents would just be designed to just give a bit more understanding. And there's loads of division songs on there. You'll find loads in that section there. So that'd be really good. So the thing is, if you've got a message for us, please send it in. If you've got any thoughts or, um, you know, you want to ask us a question, and we'd love to do that. And we'd love to know how you're getting on with these things. Dave, <laughs> yeah, I am young, you know. <laughs> I know you're the hug. But I hope that little strategy has helped. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to moment, I'm going to put up the reasoning screen back on, back on so that those little challenges, yeah. Or you can go to the number fun nuggets at the top of the screen here, the nugget section. There's a little download there that you can um, download the uh, picture and have a bit of a reason with it as well. And then, oi, I'm the unk. No, 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 wait before you go. That's coming, isn't it? Yeah, that's the bit that's coming. So in a minute, I'll put this screen up. Then there's going to be a wait before you go. I encourage you to pause the video, have a go at the challenges, and then wait before you go as well. I'll just explain how I would have solved the things on that reasoning screen. All right, then. Shall we let them have a look at the picture again? The reasoning, um, the reasoning screen. Here it is. All right, get on with it then. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell them to get on with it. Oi, get on with it. <laughs> okay. Part six, wait before you go. Wait before you go, Dave. <laughs> wait before you go. This is the bit where I'm just going to encourage you to think, well, we're going to tell you what we would do. Oh, what you would do, you mean? What, is it not your ideas? No, it's all yours. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to teach him the mathematics as we go. Right, here's the first one. This is the, the picture clue. I reckon this is 42 divided by 3. How do you know, Dave? Well, the bottom picture is, is partitioned into 10 sets of 3 on the left and 4 sets of 3 on the right. So I think that's uh, four, 42 divided by 3. There's 14 across the top, 3 going down the side. That 14 has been partitioned into 10 times 3 and 4 times 3. So... 42 has been partitioned into 30 and 12, both chunks divided by 3 to give 14. Very clever, Dave. <laughs> I hope you understand that. And then we had, then we had um, these calculations, didn't we? Well, I think those are the answers, Dave. <laughs> those are the answers. Should we go back and just um, reason with everyone what we, what we think they are? Oi, where's the next screen? I don't know. I've lost the next screen. Oi, oh, oi, come back here. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. That's what we think it is. Should we just double check? Part six. Wait before you go. I thought we just did that bit, Dave. <laughs> we just did. Here's here's how I got to those solutions. There you go. I got the board, Dave. Right, 104 divided by seven. I said it was 14 remainder six. Let's double check it. Partition that into the hunk. 70. The other chunk, 34. That's my partition, dividing both chunks by 7. 70 divided by 7 is 10. 34 divided by 7. Uh, well, well, 7 times 5 is 35, isn't it? So 6 remainder 6. 6 remainder 6. Uh, so that's 16 remainder 6. Is that what you got? No, it says 14 remainder 6 on the screen. Does that make sense? Yeah. No. No, it doesn't, does it? Because 34 divided, well, 4 times 7 is 28. It's not 6 times. It should be 4 remainder 6. Oh, yeah, because 4 times 7 is 28 plus 6 more is 36. So that should be 4 remainder 6. So up here, that's the wrong quotient. 14 remainder 6 is correct. You were right then, Dave. I was right. On my board, I was right. Well, the other one. Oh, and the last one, this one here, do we need a hunk or do we need a mega hunk? 
Mega hunk. Right, okay. So 60 would be a hunk because it's 10 times the divisor. 120 would be a mega hunk. More, Dave. Oh, another mega hunk will be 180. Next one will be 240 because I'm working in multiples of hunks. I can definitely fit 180 in. So 180 over here and the other chunk, 34. Divide both of those. Mega hunk and the chunk by 6. 30. There, 30 over there. And 6 times 6 is 36. So I reckon that's 5 remainder 4. So I reckon that's 35 remainder 4. 35 remainder 4. And is that what we had? It was, Dave. <laughs> hey. So that's how we worked it out. Hopefully catch you very, very soon. Let's go back to the reasoning screen. Looks like you got that one right, Dave. <laughs> I didn't get it right. <laughs> Thankfully. I am the hunk, Dave. You don't need to go looking. I'll be back. Bye. Hold on. Hold on. That's the screen we need so we can see the tomorrow, Dave. <laughs> it is indeed. See you tomorrow. Don't forget to check out 30-day free access to the parent portal. Loads of stuff in there, including chugging. Indeed. Bye. Bye. I look cool in these glasses, you know. I'm more of a hunk than you are. No doubt about it.